and welcome to my craft room. My name's Michelle Wells. I'm a Stamping Up Demonstrator from Tasmania, Australia. Um, today I'm going to use the beautiful flowering foils out of the um, celebration that's available this month. So um, any $90 order that you place with me, um, if you haven't got a demonstrator, you can um, place a $90 order with me and you can get this free um, DSP for free. So, and there's a few other little bits and pieces in there, but I decided today I'm going to make a fun fold card. And um, this is the little card here that I'm going to make. So, just a quick and easy little fun fold. And I'm just using two of the DSP um, papers from that pack. So, so, we'll get started. So, I'll pop that up there so I can keep an eye on that. I've already pre-cut all my um, papers. So this piece here is um, five and a half by four and a quarter. So five and a half by four and a quarter. And then this piece here is a quarter of an inch smaller. So it'll be um, five and a quarter by four. I think that was right. Five and a quarter, yeah, five and a quarter by four. And then I got another piece which is um, three and a quarter by eight and a half and then I just um, folded it in half that that'll make the little piece that'll sit on there and then I cut another piece um, at the three and three by four um, of the DSP and then I cut another little one the same for the inside three by four um, to go on the inside so that it'll go on the inside of the card and then I just cut an oval shape out from um, the dies. And I cut two butterflies, one out of the rose gold glimmer and just the rose, um, Rococo rose um, as well. And um, I think that's all we had. So to get started, I will assemble all these little bits and pieces. And I think I've lost my glue. Um, oh, where did I put that? always the way you have everything all organized and I've lost my glue so okay just bear with me for five seconds I'm trying to there it is I found it I don't think I can ever do a video um, where everything <laughs> doesn't run smoothly sometimes so alrighty what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this piece here down first so I'm doing the opposite way this time, and now my glue doesn't want to go. Oh, no. So all I'm doing is gluing this piece down. So I'll glue him onto the base. So, and I like to use Tombow because you get that little bit of a, oh, not too much down there. Wiggle, wiggle room. So, so that's your base there done. So I'll pop that one aside so that you get your little piece here. Um, and I like to do all these pieces before I... So I'm just going to pop the inside first, the Whisper White. So I'm just going to pop him down in the centre there. Hopefully I get him lined up. Let's pick him up and make sure I get him over. So... And that's the inside. If you wanted to stamp something, you can stamp something on there. But I don't know what I'm, who I'm giving this to yet. So um, I am not going to stamp anything. And I'm just going to pop the next bit down. So we've got a rainy day here in Tasmania. So today, so I thought, what a good way to um do some crafting on a rainy day and I thought well I'll do you do a video and um, yeah share it so and I just love this gorgeous paper it's just so gorgeous so so all I've done there I may need just a tiny little bit there on that corner so some days I don't use enough glue and then other days I use too much glue so but um so that's that and before I put anything else on the front of it here um, I'm 
All I do is I glue the back of this so so you've got your front like that's your front part so I've just put some glue on the back just make sure I put a little bit up in the corners because I don't seem to um and then I lift I just hold my piece up here and I put this piece down here and I just sort of line it up to where I think and then I just um line it up to the top and then I could have went over a little bit but um let's see if I can wiggle it over there you go and that's just that's an easy way of um getting it like on so that sort of gave you like it's like a little hidden um your hidden little fold so and they're, they're quite easy to make, very um, simple to make. So I think I've got, feels like I've got glue. It is <laughs> glue up there. Anyway, I'll keep it down here. So actually, I'll grab my rubber. It's a trip with that. If you do have glue on your surface, um, grab your rubber and. Um, and it can look at, you'll get it off so but I won't muck around with it today so that's that part so I'll pop him up there so you get your oval shape and um, like I said I'll have all the um, bits and pieces on my um, on my blog with what I've so I'm using the stamp set, the Heartfelt. So this is not only just for Valentine's, you can use it for anything. So I'm using the little sentiment, so lucky to have a friend like you. So all I'm going to do with um, the Memento Black ink is I'm just going to ink that up. And then I'm just going to try to, hopefully I'm in camera, and I'm just going to pop that down there. And that's all I. That's all the stamping I've done. So if you wanted to, you could stamp a little something on the inside. But I haven't done anything uh, on my other one. So, so I'm just going to get some um, the glue, and I'm going to just glue that down. And I'm going to pop that into the center of my card, and. And it doesn't matter if it goes up a little bit. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so I like it up there a little bit more. If you if you want it to have it in the centre, you can. So I'll pop him up there. And I've got my two butterflies. And all I'm going to do is pop a bit of glue in the centre of that one. So I can stick my other one on top. And and you'll probably say why are you putting two on, but I'm I like to um, make my wings stand up. So and then I'll just pop a bit of glue on the inside of that one, and then I'll situate it onto the card where I want to have it. And so it's there. And just hold that for a few seconds and you can see how quick and easy it's come together so and then all I do is I like to just give my my wings just a little bit of a push up there so and there you go I, I really was going to put some more like some bling on here but um, I thought no I did it didn't need any more bling because that paper is just gorgeous in itself so 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 there you go so and all it does is just stands up like that when um when you um like give it to somebody and they can that's all they do is they stand it up so that's my fun fold card so using the beautiful flowering um foils dsp so I hope you like that. 
So that's the one I made um, earlier and this is the one that I made with you today. So yeah, this, just doing the reverse, like I've used the um, this pattern on the top here and I've used this pattern um, on the inside here. So yeah, I just wanted to make two, um, two cards like but I wanted to show you how versatile you can you can change them up so so there you go so um if you like what you've seen today um please subscribe to my channel and um give me the thumbs up um I'm trying to um get more of, um followers on my um more sus subscribers because I want to go do Facebook lives uh, YouTube lives so um yeah, I'm having trouble with doing other things like so this is the only way that I can do videos because for some reason I can't don't get a very um good look so doing um live videos so but anyway, um thanks for joining me and um please subscribe to my channel and um give me the thumbs up and um let me know that you like this one and um if you haven't got a demonstrator and you live in Australia, um, I'd be happy to, um, yeah, let you know um, and help you out. So, but just, yeah, give me a message. Um, I will have all the details at the end of this video um, for all my, um, where you can join um, if you want to purchase um, all that. So, alrighty. Thank you very much and have a great day, won't you? Bye.